Bonjour, bonsoir, chase be live, dear friends. Wine style. It could be called as well food style because today Raphael is going to do something very special. Yes, we're going to be making Barina squash soup. It's the time of year. October 20th, Halloween is 10 days away. You're going to learn how to do it. This recipe. So, dear friends, the squash, can you believe? Pattern squash is coming originally from Mexico, so very close, in fact, from Rafaele. Look at how beautiful hometown. It is. We're really lucky that we have a, an amazing gardener. What a lovely shape! Ooh. Ooh. Julia, stop smiling and looking at it that way. We'll give it to you later, Julia. You know, so it's always a good companion. So these pattern squash they came from Raymond Vineyards, right behind. Of our winery, which is amazing, and we're gonna make in soup that originated from from Mexico originally, right? originally, yes, and then came to the United States much later. But this is a great, phenomenal recipe, which goes typically very well with wonderful wine. So the whole idea is to butter you, butter me, butter oh, us. Yeah. It's all about buttering. So look at that. Oh, that's how you open a screw cap. And you could even roll it on your sleeves if you want to. And this is, dear friends, a magnificent Chardonnay from one of our most historical wineries that we own with proudness. Look at the bottle, embossed with the crest of Bouchard René, founded in 1750. On the back of the bottle, you have this amazing date and the power of this incredible crest that really represents the history of France. And this wine is a Chardonnay made from France. And the whole idea is to present a wine that is not breaking the bank. It's zesty, crispy, and it's gonna go very well with the richness and the opulence and the velvetness of this great soup. And this great soup, you could present it in many ways and as shots as well for your guests when they come in for your Halloween party. Wow, mm. so nice. Very little amount of oak. The whole idea of this wine is to represent really the grape. So Chardonnay, richness, but really preciseness. And that's what is so exciting about it. It's all about radiance and vibrancy and crispiness, zest, like green apple, white pear, you know, those kinds of notes that makes it a wine you could drink the whole bottle. In fact, yeah. you want to try? You should. Here we go. It gives a chef always a lot of positive energy. Drink out of the bottle! <gasps> Why not? It makes me like... <laughs> you, see? you see? Right at the back. That's the recipe oh to get the good chef going. Wow. I can stop drinking it. Oh, I can stop. Okay, so let's move on to the, now that George has uh, finished talking about the delicious wine, which is amazing, we're going to move on to the soup. Barina squash. And it's so simple. You see, you already had too much wine. So I simple love it. and so easy. And I want, and I've been making, you know, this is my, my style, my own soup that I've been making for 15 plus years already. What I'm going to be using for this recipe, white onion, it's about three, four onions, white onion, and uh, some nice uh, clean leeks. leeks. There, you have to be generous and the key, and I would say my secret ingredient for this soup is the leeks. Yes. And it's, it's pretty amazing, like I say. And so those come they, from the garden. They yeah. came from the garden and there's been, they've been like uh, clean and washed. Mm. So every time you buy a leek or at the store, if you're very on or whatever, I'll suggest you cut it. Julian, they're called Julian. You put them in a the water and the leeks, they're gonna come to the top and all the sin, uh, they're gonna fall to the bottom. Yeah. You wanna rinse them up at least For how long do you let them you, you gotta rinse them up at least three, four times until yeah. you make sure there's no sand and no dirt in it. Mm -hmm. So these are, they've been clean and washed. And you know, leeks are great as well in vinaigrette. Yes. And just simply as such as well, would go very well with this wine too, but it's a great way to mix it and yeah. bring the and garden into one beautiful dish. Exactly, and then the next one we're gonna do, I'm gonna do about two carrots. Carrots, I should like it too. They can bright up, the colors stay nice and bright as you're cooking them. 
and it's gonna give of course a little extra sweetness to it and I have uh, at least three banana squash clean cut in pieces chunks however you want to clean it and it's all nice and look at all those colors I mean isn't it beautiful we are in the middle of fall many of you on the East Coast are already enjoying the fog the beautiful leaf and the foliage it's really romantic you want to be home next to a great fire and those colors are really an invitation to do this so it's a great way as well to have a very healthy dish because when you think about it it's only vegetables and that's it and so that, sorry to interrupt you so the next one uh, of course salt salt and pepper and a little bit of brown sugar and allspice yes because it's like i say it's time yes. of the year you Let's know allspice you know mm. 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 we'll go very well with the pinot noir so for this what i'm going to do i'm going to be generous at least three four tablespoons of uh, uh, butter you remember paul bocuse it's an homage to him he said don't come to france if you don't like cream and if you don't like butter because obviously all French cooking is based on it and we need to tell you it's not necessarily more fattening it's the amount of what you eat after you make a dish that creates the problem of, of being excessive but if you eat with normal measurements it's actually very exciting to have I butter never see, and I never cream see, I never see anybody from France that are overweight they're so nice. I mean, like they eat a lot of French, a, a lot of cheese, a lot of cream, and all that. I think it's the it's, portion. It's not what I heritage. That's it. Yeah. You guys have any blood? We eliminate. Well, because we drink great wines. That's what we do. And you know, this is the prime example. I mean, this is a great wine, not overly thought of. We take the grapes, we ferment, and here it is. And that's what I love with this wine because it marries itself so well with the garden. You know, no too much barrel fermentation, not excessive malolactic fermentation, no batonnage. This is the wine pure as it comes, like the leeks, the onions, the carrots, and the squash. So I have my butter nice and melted already, right? So you don't have to bake when it gets extremely hot because you want to cook everything with slow cooking. So I'm going to go with the leeks. Leeks go in. So for, you gotta make sure that you cook down your leeks, your onions, and all that until they, I mean, sweat it down and all that. So onions goes in. Then you let it cook for at least 10, 15 minutes. This is about, I think of at least an uh, hour and 30 minutes process for your soup. Make sure it cooks properly and it's slow. You don't want to rush it. And you just gotta take your time. So you cook down your leeks. And then you can put uh, your uh, banana squash sauce in, cook this down, and your carrots. So this is what they're gonna cook for at least uh, 15, 20 minutes. And then they cook down, and then if you put salt, the salt is gonna help you to release a lot of the juices from the squash and it's gonna help you help uh, to cook faster. Keep a little salt and then you just finish it if you think it needs more. And then my uh, old spice and that should be it. Where's my chef? She left? She left? She's gone. He's right there! Meal. Sous chef. So he's right back with some peanut. Uh -huh. And which is so exciting when you think about richness of a dish, you think about opulence, you think a lot of fabric, texture, you may want to go a little leaner as far as the wine is concerned. So this is why the recommendation we have as well is the Pinot Noir from Bouchard René as well. A beautiful bottle. You could see the hotel of the Conseiller du Roi, the Conseiller, meaning the advisor to the king. Can you believe that this was the home of the advisor to Louis XV? So, quite a place, a magnificent cellar you must visit. This is where this wine is being aged. This is the 2017 vintage. Same bottle, the little brother of the Chardonnay. And this is what we're going to be having. So, 
you know, Pinot Noir is all about sensuality, is all about romance. When you think about Cabernet, it's often the cathedral. It's very structured. It's very organized. You think about symmetry as you make it. You think about structure. Here, you want to go wild. This is poetry in the glass. And I'm a big fan of this wine. Those two, in fact, because they really don't break the bank. Those two bottles are probably available for $25 both, you know, 12 to 15 each. So not that expensive and a great, well, great, great bottle of wine. A great party for the middle of the week. It's all about enjoying wine and putting wine within your wine lifestyle. And I really believe that's what it's all about, you know. Don't always do cocktails or beer. Wine can be enjoyed as you cook, very simply, and in a modest way. With a weekly budget, you can have something amazing. Well, wow, perfect. Uh, don't sure. you think? Yes. Okay. Great amazing. aroma. I love it. You know, rose petals and obviously very delicate aroma. This is the beauty of the wonderful Pinot Noir. Wow, I think Dylan, you gotta come closer. This is so all this is shooting down. It needs a little bit more time Look to cook, but everything is there. You gotta like say cook it down. Isn't it gorgeous? For at least Look at like this. it's at least 10, 15 minutes, I don't know, maybe more, but and then after that, uh the direction is gonna be out. Of course, we're gonna post the recipe and all that, it'll be amazing and it will be just fine, right? And now I have some vegetable stock that I made already. Vegetable stock is simple to make. I don't want to use chicken stock. Why? Because sometimes people... Well, we have the vegetables, so we might as well continue within the same Exactly, way. as you peel and your carrots and all that, you can just throw it up in the veg stock, put a piece of onion in there, carrot, and that's, voila, and then you have your veg stock. And look at this basket. Do you want to grab it to show our friends what we could still find? This in the garden. We still like have a lot of stuff in the garden. We got Can some, you believe this here? We have some baby Tokyo turnips and some uh, breakfast radishes, uh, still like yellow bell peppers, barna squash, tomatoes, quince. That's for, oh, Julia is her name. And that's that's for her. But look, is it the Russian kale? Yes, and then some nice Look at that carrots. beautiful Russian kale. Look at this fabric. This would make beautiful curtains if you're redoing your living room. Look at these great tones of fabric. And that's what I love with vegetables. You know, the colors of vegetable, the diversity of this beautiful Calier de Scup. This is a painting on its own. Yes, it is. I'll, every time we do something fun, and I always just like to go, go to the garden, explore, see what we have yeah. up there available. And, and you know, we, we, we've planted all the autumn vegetables basically three months ago. So now they're coming out. So it's a constant three to four months preparation to the next season. And that's the beauty is you plan your next season and you plan your next dish. Yep. So life is a forever 365 day revolving planning momentum in order to prepare the best in the kitchen. Yeah, beautiful. So my banana squash and everything that I put in the pot is uh, cooking down. For this one, which is gonna put about Five cups of the vegetable stock. You can make your own or you can buy it in the store, of course. Uh, um, and then about three cups of the heavy cream. And that should be it. Then you're gonna put them in the blender. You're gonna blend it. Um, you can pass it to this uh, fine uh, strainer or you can just blend it for, for at least three to four minutes. And that should be mm -hmm. it. Uh, if you want, I like mine. I don't like to pass them to for a, uh, to the strainer because I don't like the body, a little bit of the body to it, you know? Uh, but that should be it. And uh, I have some already made, it's already made. So the bechamel, you all remember, we showed you the recipe. So remind everybody what is bechamel? Because it's really not easy to make. Mm -hmm. You make it simple, but it's a little bit of a tricky challenge. It's simple. I mean, it's just, uh, I, my bechamel I like to do with, uh, uh, I cut one half of the onion, put one onion, and put a couple of cloves inside and let it simmer. We have to simmer for at least 20 minutes so you get the richness of the onion and the cloves. And I think that it's, uh, it's, it's like the secret ingredient kind of with the cloves, you know, and, uh, and it's just uh, you make your root, which is butter and flour, and then you combine 
some of your summer milk which is still hot and to the root of the root to the milk and, and whisk it over it and that's it two seconds later it's gonna be you're gonna have your delicious your delicious bechamel and then you can add cheese and cheese or mornay and all that and then change the name as you add the cheese right so uh, do you want to show us the end results because this is the, oh the end result yes so this wow. one is still the recipe that i show you how to make it these make sure take your time cook them down and you should be just fine okay so i gotta Ooh, la, la. Okay. One, now is the moment i get to taste and one for me and, excellent and my secret for this recipe and believe it or not please do it do it at home i like to balance it out with a little bit of fresh orange juice and a little bit of brown sugar just a little bit and that's just perfect okay so please uh as you like blend well after you blend it just balance it out with your oj and a little bit of brown sugar and it's gonna be from here to here and then the garnishes is whatever you want to garnish with maybe with a beautiful spoon the jardin of eden <laughs> the garden of eden so Raphael prepared something as well uh -huh. that you want to explain you should really show oh, this one. one is so i want to make it uh i went above and beyond or whatever you know i make a nice beautiful spinach souffle right so this one i get some nice uh i got some spinach some spinach blanch it real quick two seconds pull them out throw them in the blender add a little bit of cream a little bit of salt pepper and uh and, and an egg we'll make sure we post the recipe for it but and this one i like just because i like to garnish it with you can uh, garnish the soup with pepitas uh I don't know, fry, fry sage, which is good. Uh, whip a uh, cream fresh with a little bit of old spice. There's so many ways you could, that all depends how you like your soup. Mine I like with a little bit of, you know, uh, nice souffle because it's a nice color and it'll be amazing. So that's that. JC, we taste this And soup? now comes the beautiful soup. You know, now is the act of pleasure. Maybe uh, on the plate? Shall I take, well, let me taste it here. Oh! Oh! How is the it? The balance is incredible. And I think this is the hard thing to do, is obviously succeeding to balance your soup. And I agree with you, the last steps of ingredients, the OJ, a little bit of the brown sugar, Just a little bit of I feel it, it stabilizes your palate and makes you salivate to the point that you want to drink the Pinot as well. Mm. So you don't want to fill up all the way because you're going to see the different components, different colors. And look at this miraculous souffle. Nice and flaky. Style. And we're going to show our friends next time how we make souffle. Beautiful. Raphael, I think it would be an amazing look at how pure gorgeous it is it looks like the brazilian flag we have a feeling to be in rio dancing we kind of are really <laughs> i love it so there, there it is and this is your first course or your main course it can be your main if you course. want to have a nice appetizer and you don't want to fill your guests or your family here is an amazing dish simple and exciting and I should say, butter me, butter me up, butter us, butter you, butter all of us. The joie de vie of butter. The joie de vie.